Hi folks, Jason Webster here, lead commercial agronomist for Precision Planning. Hey, today we're at the PTI farm in Pontiac, Illinois, and we're harvesting some corn today. And I just wanted to take a minute, stop the combine and show you what we're working on in regard to some of our high management corn yield trials. Now, we started this PTI farm in Pontiac back in 2018, and I thought I'd show you a little bit of historical yield data off of this farm. And 2018, we were just like any farmer who buys a new piece of property, or as a farmer, you pick up a new, new farm. You got to farm it for a year or two and figure out what's wrong with it so you can identify some problems and go fix them to get higher yield. And we, we were just like that back in 2018. So we farmed it the first year. We were using Pioneer 1197, and our highest yield that year was 272 bushel corn. We identified some challenges. We, we came in in 2019. We farmed it again. Similar yields. We raised them a bit to 285 bushel. That was the year where we planted really late. We didn't plant till the first week of June. A lot of preventative planting uh, in the area. But nevertheless, we increased yield a bit to 285. You'll notice, though, in 2020, we had a major explosion of yield. We ramped yield up to 368 bushel corn. I have never grown 368 bushel corn in my farming career of over 30 years, but it was incredible to see the corn yield response. And it was due to, like I said earlier, identifying some of the challenges. What were they? It was water, water management. I it doesn't matter what crop you're growing. We've, we have to control water. And you can call me a control freak if you'd like, but I want to control as many things as I can in farming because um, there's not a lot of control in this whole game, but water, we can control it here at the PTI farm in Pontiac. We've got tile that we put in. Drainage was a huge problem on this farm. Beautiful black soils, but they were just wet and there was no tile in. And we created our own outlet. We put our tile in. Now we can drain our soils when we're too wet, bring oxygen back into the soil. But then one of the things I also wanted to fix was if we turn hot and dry like we do a lot of the time during the growing season, I want to be able to take that same water I got rid of through my, my field tile and recycle that rainwater to irrigate my crop. And so that's the water management that, you know, the challenges with water that we fixed. And again, we're able to get water away when we're too wet, but then we're able to bring that water back in and irrigate through the growing season. That's why we went from 270, 280 bushel corn in this major explosion to 368 bushel corn. In 2021, we're still learning how to use this whole system. We fell down a bit. It was the big year of uh, tar spot for us here in Livingston County. But nevertheless, we're growing 357 bushel corn, still so great yields. The next year, 2022, so close to 400, came in at 398. And then this past year in 2023, we hit 400 for the first time. So we're learning, we're identifying some challenges and trying to get better every single year. Now, it's 2024. I'm harvesting my high management plot uh, here today. I don't know if we're going to break 400. I don't have any of the numbers crunched. We're just right in the middle of harvesting this trial. But I wanted to show you the corn that we're harvesting. One of the things that we talk about here at the PTI farm, if you, if you came this summer and previous summers, we talk about plant health. We've got to keep this corn healthy. We got to make sure it's having a good day every single day. We spoon feed. We, we feed this corn throughout the whole growing season. There's never any large amounts of fertility put out at any given time. I don't need to do that. I've got my, my, my drip tape irrigation, my Netafim drip underneath. It's 14 inches deep on every 40 inch center. And as I'm adding water to this crop, I can put food with it. Just like you and I, we eat multiple times during the day. Well, I want to be able to feed this crop multiple times throughout the growing season. A little bit at a time. We keep it healthy. We monitor for disease. I mean, look how green this corn is. Very, very healthy. And in the end, when we go to harvest, one of the things we always talk about is, does your corn need to be dead in order for you to harvest it? Think about that for a minute. Does the corn need to be dead? Is this corn dead? Now, you're looking at this corn, and you're probably saying, Jason, that's some pretty green corn. 
what's the moisture on this corn? I've had some guys that have driven by and stopped and said, geez, corn looks pretty green. What, what in the world's it testing? Well, here, here's a video shot from our dryer. You can see our, our drying system behind me. Here's a video shot from the dryer. We're running near 20% corn moisture wise on this high management trial. And again, it just goes to show you, I fed this corn and we were able to keep it healthy, excellent plant health all season long, even through harvest. And this corn, green as can be, still giving us near 20% moisture. Now, the yields on this corn, I don't know if we're going to break 400. I, I know we're well, well over 300 uh, um, on average uh, throughout this whole field that we're in right now. And so we'll see where the numbers lie. But I look at this corn. I like the way it, it looks. I want to continue working with the plant health aspect and giving this corn what it wants. And, and, and all within reason, it's all about sustainability. I got to be profitable in what we do. Growing high yield corn is one thing. I, I like that part of it. But if it doesn't make us any more money than a lower management program, it's just not sustainable. It's like a checking account. It's your bank. You got to have more money coming into the bank than money coming out. That's the way it works on the farm. We got to keep this thing sustainable. But I'll tell you, usually, as we look at the top return on investment items here at this farm, our top 10 high management corn, as well as high management soybeans, will be in the top 10 every single year. It's actually making us more money on a per acre basis. And we're going to keep working on this in order, in trying to drive yield, but we're trying to ultimately drive profitability to new levels. So we're going to harvest this corn. I'll, I'll pull some ears here. I, I don't know if we've got, got enough to break our individual record here at this farm this year, but we're going to monitor the results. We're going to learn from it. We'll bring you the results later on once we get everything harvested. Can't wait to share the data with you. Thanks for watching.